music elective program was started to provide opportunities for deeper learning in music. It was hoped that these pupils would eventually become strong contributors in music or the arts or be supporters of the arts. When I first started MEP in SET1, that whole listening experience, attending concerts, being able to know about a composer beyond just his name, I think it was really an eye-opener for us. The MEP, uh, for me, it was a, really an explosion of the sound world. Suddenly I heard orchestral music offers across periods, across genre. This program is very well-rounded. and can, can try many things, you know, musicology, research, mm. Theory, analysis, performance, mm. composition. We said that we wanted to infuse in you know the Asian music and all that. I thought that also opened up a, a whole new world in that sense. Um, I remember some years there were Malay arts groups um, being invited to show um, something about kompang playing and also Malay dance. Yeah, it's our first That's exposure true. to gamelan, the Chinese, the Japanese, Indian. African. So, you know, we were tinkering with the instruments, listening to the CDs. Each one of our teachers support and encourage us. They have really helped us come together as a group to yeah. grow and learn together That's right. and learn from one another. You know, as we grew up uh, and, and the school started collecting more resources, so we could have free access to scores that we, we would otherwise not have. Bach's Brandenburg Concerto in F, Tio Ullin Spiegel, Beethoven's Symphony No. 1, Songs of the Way Mahler, and they were the first set of scores, study scores I had, which became then a lifetime of collecting these scores. I remember uh, borrowing CDs of uh, different genres, different kinds of uh, music as well. Mm -hmm. So it ranged from uh, piano concertos to like symphonies and mm. violin sonatas, the kind of thing. And I guess now, you know, because um, facilities are much better and we have more students, the, the chances of listening to one's composition, you know, it, it's uh, easier life, and it's possible. Yeah. And it's so important, I think, for a composer to actually hear yeah. and to, to find out whether it actually works or not. I think it was really that time when we were preparing for our compositions portfolio that we realised um, we really needed to collaborate with one another to help one another to um, play each other's work and record it and that whole collaboration was a really unique part of uh, our MAP program. I remember in 1987 when I was in JC1, RJC organised an MEP um, trip to London and we went to attend the Messian Festival at the Royal Academy mm. of Music mm. and it was an amazing exposure to 20th century music. One distinct experience I remember, uh, it was the one at Chimes I think. Mm -hmm. There was the choir and the band, strings and, and the pianist as well who was playing on the synthesizer, uh, doubling the harp part. In one of the camps, we introduced Chinese opera to the pupils. Uh, it was a way of uh, getting them to learn uh, more about opera as a very stylistic theatre form. Even though I didn't take up a full-time career in music, um, learning music is something I really treasure. I think the MEP has benefited the whole school. It has made music a way of life in the whole school and fostered uh, a musical culture in the whole school. To see that music has actually become part of the student life, it is an enriching experience for them, that they can, something that they can carry on uh, even when they leave school. We express our ideas through music. Music has become a part of my life. We learn about the different cultures and traditions in music. MEP has ignited our passion for music. MEP has taught us lifelong lessons and made us lifelong friends. Together, we enjoy making music! Thank you for a wonderful 30 years. <laughs>